Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For anybody who's new, my name is Zaylee. Thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into today's video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. So I have just gotten back from Bali. I landed in Australia on Monday and it is currently Wednesday. I needed a day to just get my bearings again and I'm so happy to be back filming, a week of not filming and also a week of like, I didn't wear makeup the whole time I was over there. So it's so good to just be back. I've already put on a little bit of foundation today. I've gone in with one of my faves, which is the Dior. Um, this is the face and body foundation from the backstage range. Uh, that alone just felt, feels so good just to wear makeup after a week of not wearing it. So what today's video is going to be is I'm so, so late to the bandwagon, but I finally picked up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm just going to test out this concealer and yeah, have a chat to you guys. Uh, the shade I have, I'm hoping it's not too light. It's in light, um, light 10. It looks pretty light in the tube. I'm assuming it's just a typical, yeah, your typical doe foot wand. I've got a mirror here in front of me, so I'm just going to pull it forward a little bit here. I don't really know how much to use, so we might just start off with this. I know there are a couple of people on YouTube who really rave about this, so hopefully it's really good because it is quite an affordable concealer. I think it cost me about six bucks, which is pretty good. It probably works out to be about 10 Australian dollars. Um, or six US dollars, which is a pretty good price. So the colors actually worked out to be pretty good. It's not too light, or at least not too light for me, and the type of look that I like. It's got really good coverage, actually, so that's awesome. And it's just completely, yeah, covering everything. So yeah, that's actually really quite nice. It's a very creamy formula, blends out super fast. It is not settling into lines or anything like that. I'll just have a bit of a closer look here. Yeah, wow, that's actually a really nice concealer and the shade has worked out really well. So definitely, yeah, full coverage, hides any discoloration. That's really nice, but it doesn't feel heavy under the eyes. I've really kind of taken a step back from concealers that feel quite heavy under the eyes like um, Tarte Shape Tape, for example. I haven't used that in so long just because I feel like even though it has amazing coverage, sometimes it can feel quite heavy under the eye and I'm just not really about that anymore. So yeah, I've been liking things that are not, I still want the coverage. I just don't want that heavy kind of feel. Um, I really, really like the Estee Lauder, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place all day concealer. I think that's what it's called. It's got like a really long name um, because it's super full coverage, but yet yeah, really lightweight. I'll just put a little bit of that concealer on my nose as well. I don't know why, but foundation sometimes this I not cling to my nose. It's so annoying. That is actually a really, really nice concealer. Like it doesn't seem to be settling into lines. It's got great coverage. I'm really, really liking that. So what we'll do is we'll just continue with the makeup and yeah, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video what I think. We'll start to see if it moves or anything like that. Um, but so far, so good. It's great coverage, looks nice. It just feels so good to wear makeup. <laughs> so good. Okay, let's do some contouring. Brushes, anyone? This is one of my new favorite cream contour products. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium. I really, really like this. I just had my hair done yesterday. I got it lightened up, got a little bit of a trim. I kind of really want to cut my hair off to like I don't know, like probably just starting off sitting on the shoulders, but honestly, I'm just like I'm so scared to actually do it. I've pretty much had long hair my whole life and just the thought of cutting it off really like so frightening. I shouldn't be frightened, but it's so scary. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the shorter hair? Do you like longer hair? I'm not really into like bright colors or anything like that. I mean, I love the look of it and I was a hairdresser, so, but I'm pretty boring with my hair colors myself. I'm just like... I've been blonde for a few years now, but it's either that or I would just like, I don't know if I'd ever actually go back to being brunette. I feel like blonde is who I am. Looking so much more put together already. I'm loving this. I feel 
so good to wear makeup. I know I keep saying that, but it, it really does. It's such a good feeling. So now we might set the under eye area. So to do that, I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Now, I'll just once again, it doesn't seem like anything settled, but I'll just give a quick tap under the eye of the blender just to make sure that there aren't any um, lines that have settled in before we set that powder down. I always like to use an under eye setting powder. Um, I feel like I've just gotten better results by using a powder that's actually made for under the eyes than a heavier powder like a face powder or something like that. Um, but whatever you guys like to use, of course. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. A bunch of the um, Laura Mercier products are actually axe, like you couldn't get them in Australia for a little while. And then Mecca, got Love Mecca, picked them back up again. So thank you Mecca because I was freaking out thinking, oh, what am I, how am I going to get these products? That's the one thing that sucks about living in Australia is we don't have access to so many things. Like when I was in the States last year, when I was in Hawaii, I brought a bunch of stuff for milk makeup and I love it. And they've released so many cool things, but I just can't, I can't get my hands on any of it over here, which absolutely sucks because there's so many things that I really want to try out, but like you just can't get milk makeup here. And there's so many brands that unfortunately we just can't get access to over here. I really, really like this. I don't think I'm going to do a wear test. If anything drastically changes, I'll definitely write it in the description bar down below. But no, I just feel like this whole area is looking nice and smooth. Um, great coverage. It's super easy to blend. I'm really, really liking this. So to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water. Just to kind of set everything down. And for a lip color today, I'm gonna to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. I'm just going to line my lips with this. And for lip color today, I'm going to go in with this KK Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Nude 5. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. Just mostly in the center of the lip. 
and blend it out. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to put um, the KKW uh, Nude 2 just in the very center there. Okay. And that is, that's my makeup complete. So once again, it feels so good to be wearing makeup. And yeah, I love this concealer. Where is it hiding? This is actually really, really nice. Um, as long as it doesn't kind of deteriorate or do anything crazy um, over the next kind of six to eight hours, I can see myself using this a lot. Actually, it's super full coverage. It's very creamy. It's easy to blend. It's, yeah, it's everything you kind of want in a concealer and it's very affordable as well. So Took me forever to finally purchase it, but I finally picked it up. And yeah, I am so far like really, really happy with this product. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching guys. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, if there's any particular videos that you want me to film, then let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.